Hi everybody, as all of you know that we are continuing one playlist of GCP Google Cloud Associate Engineer exam. So guys, we have already discussed about few topics like Google App Engine, Google Kubernetes Engine, Cloud Run and Cloud Functions. So today we are going to take some questions based on these topics and these topics are very important from exam point of view. So guys, those who have already watched my videos, I am 100% sure that they are going to solve these questions very easily. And if you are not able to solve these questions, it means that you have not watched my videos very carefully. So guys, this is practice test 1 and in the upcoming videos, we will keep on bringing different practice tests for this exam. So let's discuss our first question. Please read this question very carefully okay a team of data scientists infrequently needs to use google kubernetes engine that you manage they require gpus for some long running non restartable jobs you want to minimize the cost choose the correct option so guys after reading the question you have to focus on few key points in question the first point is gpus they are asking for gpus so first you should try to eliminate the options which do not contains gpus so if you look at the option then you can find that in option 3 and 4 they are talking about gpus you can see here vms and gpus and here also you can see instances with gpus so option 1 and 2 will be eliminated okay now among option 3 and 4 you have to choose now the next key point is some long running non restartable jobs so guys i have already told the concept of preemptible virtual machine so i have told you that preemptible virtual machines is only available for 24 hours and they can be shut down by google anytime before 24 hours so if it is shut down by google before 24 hours then how can you run long running non restartable jobs so with preemptible vms you can't go for non restartable jobs okay so guys here we are only left with option number four that is create a node pool of instances with gpus enable auto scaling on this node pool with minimum size of one okay so this is the correct answer we can't go with preemptible vms because they are asking for non restartable jobs and preemptible virtual machines are those kind of virtual machines which can be shut down by Google at any time before 24 hours. Now let's move to the next question. So you can see the question here. Users of your application are complaining about slowdown. You realize that because of app engine deployment in US central region whereas users are from Europe western 3 region. You want to change the reason to decrease the latency. Latency means let's suppose your database is present in US central region and you are in Europe western 3 region. So obviously fetching data from US region to Europe region it will take some time. So that is why our app is going to slow down. So that's why user are complaining about slow down. Now in that case what you can do. So before looking at the options guys just think from your common sense. So your common sense might be saying to you is that why can't we change the region of app engine that we have deployed in US central to Europe western 3. But I have already told you in my videos that once you created your app engine you can't change the region of app engine app engine is totally regional you cannot change the region of app engine i have already told you while we were discussing about app engine so if you look at the options they are saying that use google cloud app region set command and supply the name of new region so this might be the option which most of the candidates will tick but I have already told that app engine is regional, you can't change the region. So in that case, what we have to do, we have to create a new project and create a new app engine in Europe Western 3 region. So this will be the correct answer that is create a new project and create a new app engine in Europe Western 3 region. And whenever you are seeing any option like this, like contact Google support, always try to discard this kind of options okay now let's move to the next question so if you look at the question please study the question very carefully you are deploying an application to compute engine vm instance in managed instance group okay then they are saying that the application must be running all the times 
दिस इज की पॉइंट एप्लीकेशन मस्ट बी रनिंग ऑल द टाइम बट ओनली अ सिंगल इंस्टेंस ऑफ वी एम शुड रन पर जी सी पी प्रोजेक्ट सो वट दे आर ट्राइंग टू आस्क फ्रॉम यू इज दैट एप्लीकेशन मस्ट बी रनिंग ऑल द टाइम बट मैक्सिम वन इंस्टेंस शुड रन पर जी सी पी प्रोजेक्ट सो नाउ टेल मी वॉट यू कैन डू सो इफ यू लुक एट द ऑप्शन समवेयर दे आर सींग दैट सेट ऑटो स्केलिंग टू ऑफ समवेयर दे आर सींग दैट सेट ऑटो स्केलिंग टू ऑन सो गाइज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मैनेज इंस्टेंस ग्रुप इन मैनेज इंस्टेंस ग्रुप यू कैन सेट ऑटो स्केलिंग ऑन टू ऑटोमेटिकली मैनेज योर नंबर ऑफ इंस्टेंसेज सो ही आर यू शुड कीप योर ऑटो स्केलिंग मोड ऑन सो आई दर द आंसर कैन बी बी or the answer can be d because in these two options only auto scaling is on now let's read the option very carefully after that they are saying that set the minimum number of instances to 1 and set the maximum number of instances to 2 so guys in the question they have asked is the application must be running all the times what it means it means that they want one instances to be running all the time at any cost so this implies that they want the minimum number of instances to be running all the time that is one it means that minimum one instance should be running all the time at any cost now they are saying that but only a single instance of vm should run per gcp project i mean they are also saying that maximum one instance they want to run per gcp project so according to the options if you go to option number 4 they are saying that set auto scaling to on and set the minimum number of instances to 1 and then set the maximum number of instances to 1 so this answer is correct now let's move to the next question so you can see here they are saying that you are deploying an application to the app engine now you want to instances to a scale based on the request type okay you need at least three occupied instances at all the times which scaling type you should use so guys if you look at the options they are saying basic scaling manual scaling automatic scaling let's discard the options one by one so the first option they are saying is basic scaling with minimum number of instances set to 3 so guys we have already discussed the concept of basic scaling while we are discussing app engine okay so guys in basic scaling generally instances are created based upon the request let's say this hour you got three request so what basic scaling will do it will create three vm instance okay and let's say in next hour you got zero request so in that case it will shut down all the three instances that have been created last hour okay but here they are saying that at least three occupied instances should run all the times so this is not the correct answer now we can't go with manual scaling with three instances because let's suppose this hour you got three request okay so you will create three instances let's suppose in next hour you got 100 request so it is not practically feasible for us to create 100 instances manually so we should avoid this option now the last option that is left with us is automatic scaling with ideal instances set to 3 sorry with minimum ideal instances set to 3 so this option is correct because if you set automatic scaling on and set the minimum ideal instances to 3 then at the start of this app engine instance these three instances will be created and allocated to this app engine okay now let's suppose in the first hour you got three request so it will serve the three request let's suppose in next hour you got zero request so in that case it will not shut down three instances that it has created last hour it will keep on running those three instances so i have tried my best to explain you all the concepts with the help of few mcqs so guys in the upcoming videos also we are going to publish few more mcqs few more practice set which will clear each and every concept very clearly like in the upcoming videos we'll try to take some questions from google cloud functions google cloud run so i request all of you to please watch this playlist till end and i am sure that after watching all the practice sessions all the questions all the videos you are going to clear this exam very easily